Simadon Television, reaching the world. and the Lord of Lords. We call on the Alpha, we call on the Omega to hear our prayers. There is a reason why you are connected to this altar. It is not because there are no altars where you come from. When God opens a door for you, no one can shut it. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. 
Shout another hallelujah. hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I worship you. I beg you today to hear my prayers. Let the message you have for us today take us to our next level. Let the message you have for us today break every yoke. Let the message you have for us today transform us. Let the message you have for us heal us. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. Somebody say, oh Lord. I come to you tonight. And I beg you. Do something. That will make me happy. Do something. That will make me smile. Jesus. Demonstrate your love. Demonstrate your power. And bless my life. Do something. Do something. That will make me. Be what you want me to be. Amen. Stretch your hands to this altar. Oh my God. The Lord is about to do something. Yeah. You will never seek him in vain. Yeah. God is about to do something. Yeah. And he will surely do something. Yeah. I say he will surely do something. Yeah. He will do something. Yeah. For you that is saying amen. Yeah. He will do something. Yeah. For you that is waving your hands to him. He will do something for your family. He will do something for your children. He will do something for Father Dibye. If you believe, shout the loudest, amen. If God answers the prayer of today for you, know that he has settled you. God opened my eyes and he showed me what I want to share with you. And that is the theme of today's prayer. But as you stand there now, look at this altar. Because the theme of today's prayer is, Oh Lord, connect me to my ladder. Look at him. Say, Father, connect me to my ladder. And I tell you solemnly, that is the miracle you need. Yeah. All this, bada, 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 bada. the solution is when God connects you to your ladder. Everything will change. Yeah. By the grace of God tonight, receive that grace now. Yeah. Receive that grace now. Yeah. This God will connect you to your ladder. You will be connected to your ladder. You will be connected to your ladder. I say you will be connected to your ladder. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Somebody say, oh Lord. Connect me. To my ladder. Jesus. Connect me. To my ladder, Holy Spirit, connect me to my ladder. Exchange of days, miracle worker, connect my children to their ladder, connect my brother to his ladder, connect my sister to her ladder, connect Father Dibye. To his ladder. Connect my neighbor. To their ladders. If you believe, shut yes.
Lift up your hands. Rema kusha rabakunda. Lekete bakusha kataba. Ima kundo siri makunshi. Labra kande sekete. Loko do sikaba. Leba kusha raba. Labra kundo sikata. Ikando likete sikete. Yekete makushi. Labra kando sika. Ima kundo serema. Lebra kundo siri makusha. May God connect you to your ladder. May God connect you to your ladder. May God connect you to your ladder. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be connected to your ladder. 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 God will do it for you. The mercy will do it for you. The power will do it for you. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. God revealed this to me. That you see all these people asking for one thing or the other. The solution is when they are connected to their In Genesis chapter 28, listen and claim your own. <laughs> listen and see your own. The Bible says from verse 10, hear this. Now, Jacob went out from Bethsheba and went towards Haran. So, he came to a certain place. Come and say, a place. He came to a certain place and stayed there all night. He was on his way traveling. He now got to a place and he stayed there all because the sun had set. In other words, it was not his own plan to stay there. He stayed there because it was uh, dark. They, they, they dark me down for there. They dark me down. If they travel from Masaba to Lagos, he can't, work out. He can't reach for it. He can't say they don't dark. No need to work again. He can't make his stay for it. <laughs> he now stayed there. Hear what the Bible says. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head. And he lay down in that place to sleep. Then he dreamed. And behold, a ladder. was set up on the earth and its top reached the heaven and there the angels of God were ascending and descending oh my God the Bible says in verse 13 and behold the Lord stood above it and said I am the Lord God of Abraham your father and the God of Isaac the land on which you lie, I will give to you. Hey, hey. Ah, ah. He didn't plan it, but his ladder was there. That land belongs to him. I will give to you and your descendants. Also, your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad to the west. And the east Amen. to the north Amen. and the south. Amen. Who is God blessing this night? Are you the one? And in you and in your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. Behold, I am with you, and I will keep you wherever you go. And we bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Number one, there is a place your ladder is. You are in a world. But in this world, your ladder is in a place. I want to quickly pray for you now that God will connect you to that place. Look at what God
God said to him, he was traveling. The Lord said, you see this lady you sleep, now here your ladder day. No matter where you go, you will still come back and possess here. Because that is where your ladder is. Child of God, the question is, where is my ladder? Where is the ladder of Father Dibia? Is my ladder in Iseloku? Is my ladder in Asaba? Is my ladder in Benin? Oh God, connect me to my Because I don't know where it is. Unfortunately, we have depended on human beings as our ladder. On our own, we have chosen human beings as our ladder. And that is why today, many of us are shedding tears. Because that man, when you take as ladder, will disappoint you one day. That man you trusted, that woman you trusted, that lady you trusted, that boy you trusted, may disappoint you tomorrow. But the ladder we are talking about, God says, I will be with you forever and ever and ever. If you are the one shot, amen, three times. A ladder is a piece of equipment used for climbing up, toe or down from high places. So when we talk about ladder, we are talking about your progress, your ability to move forward. There is a place God has destined for you. It, if I in a copy of the audio mimi. And if you do not get that place, you will struggle and suffer. Many of us are suffering because we have not been able to connect to the place where our ladder is. That is why we are suffering. The moment you reach where your ladder is, if that is where your ladder is, things will be easy for you. You will find favor. You will find joy. But let me tell you now, let me surprise you. Many of us are looking for our ladder in a good place. We are looking for our ladder. We are good, comfortable place. So if the place is not comfortable, my ladder is not there. That is the problem many of us are having. If the, if, if there is not good, <laughs> I don't know if say we are not good though. I don't say we're bad though. Oh, child of God, what a mess. Is the devil's plan. This man we are talking about, Jacob. Where did he see his ladder? In a place where he slept with stone as pillow. Where he slept with stone as a pillow. He did not see any pillow. No bed. He found himself in a place where stone became pillow. How can stone give you comfort? How can stone on your head give you comfort? But this man decided to settle there, being moved by God. And when he slept on a stone, behold, he saw his ladder. And God spoke to him. And God said, you see here where you lie. I give it to you because this is your ladder. From here you shall expand to the east, to the west, to the north, and to the south. Child of God, stop looking for your ladder in a comfort place, in a comfort zone. Anywhere your ladder is, Lord, connect me to it. <laughs> Lift up your hand and say, Father, I'm sorry for looking for my ladder. In comfortable places. I am very sorry. In many ways. I have looked for my ladder. In a comfortable place. I ask for mercy. Not only for myself. But for members of my family. My brothers and my sisters. I ask for mercy. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. For we are suffering for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. 
of where to find our ladder. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show me mercy. Forgive me, O oh God. Please give me another opportunity to see my ladder. Connect me to my ladder. Direct me to my ladder. Take me to my ladder. Show me my ladder. That I may experience progress and ascension into my level of glory. Jesus. 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 Direct me to that special place. That special place. That glorious place. That I may not be looking comfortable. But my ladder is there. Help me to celebrate that place. Amen. Amen. That place is a place of battle. Listen, for some of us, our ladder is battle. I will explain. For some of us, that place is a place of encounter. It's a place of contact. For some of us, that place is a place of change. For some of us, that place is a place of tears. I'm telling you that even I'm going to be even you, Mimi. Let me quickly explain. The ladder of David was battle, Goliath. The ladder of David was Goliath. The killing of Goliath, the fighting of Goliath. Mm. Am I talking to somebody? Lifted him up. Hey. Oh. All those who thought that they have known you finished, they will be surprised where you are going to. Hey, <laughs> Masaka. All those who have concluded your story. Hear what the Bible says. It said to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south. Because you are being connected to your ladder tonight. Your friends, your family members will not understand you tomorrow. If you are the one, let your amen be the loudest amen. I want to believe that many of us here we have missed our ladders. Believe me. In one way or the other, we missed our ladder. Because that place is a place of decision. It's a place of covenant. It's a place of divine requests. When the ladder of David came, look at it. They said, no, you will not go. Look at you are too small. He said, no, we. And he went and as soon as Goliath fell down, he climbed. They said they sing him praises. It is a place of battle for some of you. You cannot run away from that battle. You must fight it. There is a battle you must fight. And that is your ladder. You cannot run away from it. You must confront it. And you must conquer it. If you do not do that, you cannot climb. Somebody not hear me. A man called Gideon had a ladder. The ladder was to destroy the idol of his father's house. Man of valor. You say, how can I be a man of valor? Look at me. Or see, look at something blocking your ladder. Take away that thing blocking your ladder. There is something that is hindering you from climbing. And when he destroyed the father's shrine, I don't know what is stopping you from seeing your ladder. Some of us have been blindfolded. Even though we are ladder, he said, we pass without talk. Listen to me. Lift up your hands. Oh my God. How I wish you are understanding what is happening now. Lift up your hands. 
Isaiah 25 says that the devil has covered many of us with veil. That when we see our ladder, when we see our opportunities, we will just pass without recognizing. Therefore, I pray, every veil that has covered you from seeing your ladder, if you can shout a man, fire will destroy that veil. 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 Some of us here, the ladder is in the man we rejected. The ladder of your greatness is in that man you rejected. You decided on your own to reject a man. Not knowing that that man is the ladder God raised for you. Through that man, you will go far. But because of one fake knowledge, you rejected a man. You see why we must ask God for mercy. Let me tell you, if as you did now, say, as your life they do you, no, they sweet you for better. Now their problem there. I'm not lying now. I'm not lying. If you are here and you feel that you are wasting, that your life is just, you are not able to achieve, you may have missed your ladder. Because there is something covering you. You missed the opportunity. Permit me to call the ladder your opportunity. Either because you are afraid or you lack the spiritual understanding. And it's good you are hearing now. A lady sent me a text message and said, Father, since I encountered you on social media, MDD Square, oh, my life has changed. I can see, I can, I can feel my spiritual strength. Or see, how I wish, how I wish I met you my husband would not have died. People are beginning to realize lately the opportunities, the powers, the grace that they carry. Never you play with your ladder. The devil will give you reasons. If David followed the counsel of King Saul, he will not climb. But he believed in God. He trusted in God. Many of us are looking for comfort. Many of us are developing stupid plans. If wishes were horses, beggars would have been flying. Nobody has to think I'm life being. You don't play with your place of ladder. You don't choke with your ladder. You need a ladder. Supernatural ladder. The ladder from God. But when you play with it, because that ladder is from God and very humble, the ladder will just go and stay in one corner. And then you go and build your house on the sand. Our prayer point today is simple. Let God direct you and I and connect you and I to our ladder. In any way, the ladder wants to come. Let the ladder come. You will not remain at this level forever. Listen to me. Look at the way you are. So it's your mind telling you that if you remain like this next year, that you'll be happy. Is your mind telling you that this condition you are in now, in the next five years, if you are like this, it will be okay? No. You need a ladder. Tell your neighbor you need a ladder. 
And let me tell you now, the only one that can direct you to your ladder is Jesus. Is God. Because this man called Jacob never knew where he was sleeping. Don't use your hand and choose things so. I'm telling you. I pray for somebody hearing me. I don't know how you are understanding the message of today. But I am rounding up. I'm about to stop. The message is clear. That as you connect to this altar this night. God will grant you the blessing of locating your ladder. You will locate your ladder. You will locate your ladder. Divine ladder. Divine ladder. Divine ladder. Divine ladder. Divine ladder. Divine ladder.